Good morning, Mets fans, and welcome to a Friday edition of Driving with Mr. Met. I am Mr. Met, and uh, yes, the white stuff on the ground is snow. Uh, it, uh, it impacted my ability to record earlier this week, but it kind of worked out for the best because some news broke yesterday that applies to what I want to talk about today, which is the final piece of the opening day starting roster for the Mets, and that is the pitching staff. How will the bullpen be constructed? How will the rotation be constructed? I'm going to talk about that today, and I also want to talk about last night's spring training game. So, last night the Mets played the Nationals uh, in Port St. Lucie, and um, it, for the first couple of innings we got to watch Zach Wheeler really struggle as the starting pitcher. And it was like a tale of two games almost, um, where while Wheeler was on the mound, um, the Mets did nothing offensively, and uh, the Nationals did everything offensively. And in relief, Seth Lugo came in to bail uh, Wheeler out. And at that point in time, it was sort of like the, uh, the, the uh, switch was flipped, and the Mets started hitting the ball, and the Nationals didn't. And I know it's a spring training game, but boy, watching the Mets last night and watching the Mets beat the Nationals last night, that was an awful lot of fun for a spring training game. Um, I, you know, I don't put much stock in spring training, but man, that was a that was a lot of fun to watch. And opening day is six days away now. Um, hopefully by then this snow is melted and we don't have to see it again until after the season is over. But uh, last night really got me amped up for the season to start. And I want to segue right from the pitching debate from last night into the pitching staff for opening day. Um, the rotation is really prior to a couple of injuries pretty well set in stone. Um, the opening day starter will be Noah Syndergaard. Um, Jacob deGrom will be the number two in the rotation. Three, four, and five are a bit of a question mark. A couple of days ago there was talk about we're going to finally see the five aces together uh, on the in the rotation at the same time. Um, but, uh, and that was because Jason Vargas' uh, uh, injury on his non-pitching hand. So Vargas will not be ready for opening day, therefore he will not be in the rotation. And so the thought was that we would see Harvey Mattson Wheeler taking the three, four, and five spots in the rotation. Well, I don't know that that's going to be the case after last night. Um, and again, spring training being what it is and not putting a lot of stock in it, um, Zach Wheeler struggled last night and he's struggled all spring and Seth Lugo did the exact opposite and he's been doing the exact opposite all spring and you know I was thinking that Lugo would be a great guy in the bullpen and last night he showed that he can be but I don't know that he's not the right guy to choose to be in the rotation instead of Wheeler at this point so I'm actually going to start the season with Wheeler in Las Vegas and I'm going to have Seth Lugo be the uh, the swingman in the rotation until Vargas comes back from his injury, which should not be a significant amount of time because again it is a, is non pitching hand. So the starting rotation will be uh, uh, Cindergard, Degrom, uh, Harvey, Mats, and Lugo in in my opinion. So um, there's going to be 13 pitchers on the opening day roster. More than likely, that means that eight guys will be in the bullpen. This was really hard. Um, I, I struggled really hard to to get the eight guys. Um, and not all of them, of course. A lot of them are pretty pretty well locks. Um, Familia is going to be the closer. Ramos will be the setup guy. Blevins will be the lefty specialist. Um, Robert Gazelman has shown that he belongs in the bullpen as well. So Gazelman is going to be in there. That's four. Paul Seawald deserves a shot as well. Uh, Seawald was very good last year. He's not had a great spring, but he belongs in the, uh, in the opening day uh, bullpen. Um, Anthony Swarzak, of course, who the Mets acquired this offseason as a, as a free agent signee, will be there. That's five, so that leaves three spots. Uh, I'm giving one of those spots to Jacob Rame. I think Jacob Rame has done enough to earn that spot. Um, no guarantees for anybody. Um, there was discussion about Rafael Montero, and this is the second injury that I want to bring up. Yesterday we learned that Rafael Montero has a torn UCL will require surgery and will miss the 2018 season. And I don't wish injury on anyone, but boy, this is a blessing in disguise. Um, Montero is out of options. He would have to be exposed to waivers before he could be uh, uh, assigned to AAA Las Vegas. 
um, this avoids that. He'll go on the 60-day DL and um, will still be a Met, but won't be in the equation. So again, Rame is uh, is uh, number six. Um, so who do we have for seven and eight? That's the big question. So actually, that makes up seven, not six. Um, so that leaves one spot remaining. And the Vargas injury, unfortunately, opens the door for that eighth spot to belong to Hansel Robles. Yes, Hansel Robles, is, in my opinion, is going to end up being the eighth guy in the in the bullpen to open the season. Now, that's going to be until Jason Vargas returns. I'd like to see him be there as a warm body and nothing else, only appear in a game where the Mets are getting shelled. And when that's all said and done, um, when Vargas returns from injury, I'd like to see Robles uh, spend the rest of the season in AAA trying to figure, figure things out for himself. Um, there is debate as to whether Zach Wheeler should be on the on the roster instead of Robles, and I, I just don't know. I mean, Wheeler cannot be a contributor out of the bullpen, um, and this is where that question of who the fifth starter should be comes into play. Lugo has shown that he can pitch out of the bullpen. Wheeler has not. Robles has shown us that he can't pitch, period. So um, maybe I'm being foolish about this, and, and maybe um, maybe the Mets don't have that eighth guy in the bullpen to start the season. Maybe they go with a seven-man bullpen and they have an additional position player on the roster. Um, uh, or maybe they let Wheeler be in the rotation. Um, they try to have him sort of learn as he goes or um, improve as he goes with the major league club. Um, uh, keeping Robles away from uh, the majors this year. Uh, if that's the case, then Wheeler's in the rotation, Lugo's in the bullpen, and there is no uh, there is no Hansel Robles. Um, or you keep Lugo in the rotation and you send Robles and Wheeler to AAA. Um, I, personally, I would uh, keep Ro I'd keep Robles in the bullpen right now, um, just because the the uh, Vargas situation is what it is. He'll be back. Um, and I don't know that the Mets want to be short in the bullpen to start the season. Uh, but again, it's a crapshoot because Robles is, is Robles, and he doesn't give us anything beyond the ability to point up in the air at a ball that he thinks is a pop-up that's 12 rows back. <laughs> so that's my that's my opening day uh, pitching staff for this team. Um, again, I, I'm I, again. It was really hard for me to do this. I, I, had, I had a really hard time coming up with those last two spots and because it's such a fluid situation with the Vargas injury um, it sort of forces my hand and more than likely forces Mickey Callaway's hand um, to, to keep Robles there as that eighth man in the bullpen. Is there a better option? Is Matt Perk a better choice to have that second lefty there? I don't know. I mean to me he can't be worse than Robles but Robles has the experience in the majors and Perk doesn't Perk could probably use more seasoning in AAA. Robles could probably use more seasoning on his steak um, and not in uh, the baseball uh, area for the Mets. So um, that's all I'm going to talk about today. I'd love to hear your thoughts about my questionable decision to put Robles in the, uh, on the roster to start the season. Uh, but you can uh, hit me up here on the comments below and let me know what you think. Or you can send a tweet to at Mr. Underscore Met. Uh, I thank you for watching. Spring training again is just about over. The opening day, um, opening day is less than a week away. I'm excited. You're excited. We're all excited. And I'll end today, as always, saying, let's go Mets.